Welcome to the Great HR How To Video Series. In this video, we will learn how to create a permissions policy, define the reviewers and the policy rules, activate the policy and know where to view unassigned employees. Employees may work remotely or take time off for personal or official reasons. Permission module enables employees to request time off in advance to avoid attendance issues and allows managers to plan work accordingly. This helps the employees avoid attendance regularization and the manager can plan the work accordingly. Let us begin by navigating to the workflow module, setup and then workflow levels. On this page, you can create policies, define reviewers and their actions and set policy rules for different modules. The active tab displays all the active policies under progress and the closed tab shows you the history of policies. Now, click on add workflow levels. From here, you will start defining your permissions policy. Under the general settings, select workflow type as permissions. Enter a name for the policy and then write a short description here. Click on this drop down and then on the checkbox to select the required permission type. Please note that you can select multiple options by selecting these checkboxes. Now save it. You can also edit by clicking here. Then select the required employee filter and click on save policy. Your general settings will get saved. Click on next to move to the workflow level settings. Here, select the reviewer levels as per your requirements. Please note that the selected number of levels defines the number of reviewers required to approve the application. You will also notice that the page displays the reviewer levels options per your selection. From here, select a job role as the first reviewer. Please note that when an employee applies for permission, the application will go to the selected job role first for approval. Then select the application actions as per your requirements. The reviewers can view and perform the actions on the application based on your selection here. Kindly note that if the application is accepted, then the workflow will get closed and will not be forwarded to the next level reviewer. Forward and accept are only available if you have clicked the checkbox. Let us briefly know the purpose of each action. The forward option is available only if there is more than one reviewer, allowing the reviewer to forward the application to the next level reviewer. The accept option is available for all levels of reviewers. If the reviewer is not the last level reviewer and has accepted, the application will still be forwarded to the next level reviewer for acceptance. The reject option is available for all levels of reviewers. From here, you can select the due days to automatically move the application to the next level of reviewer. Please note that you have to perform the same steps to appoint more than one reviewer. Now, click on save policy to save the permission workflow level settings. Then click on next to move to workflow policy settings. Here you can select the required time slab. To understand better about this, hourwise is the option that enables your employees to apply for permission for specific hours. And session wise enables your employees to apply for permission for first half or second half of the shift. Here, enter the required time minimum time slab. Please note that you can configure for a minimum of one minute and your employees can apply based on the configuration. And this is a mandatory time slab. Enter the daily, weekly and monthly maximum hours here and also the count in the maximum hour and maximum count text boxes. For example, if you enter 4 hours as maximum hour and 2 as a maximum count for weekly. Then in a week, the employees can apply for up to 4 hours total in 1 or 2 instances. If an employee wants to apply for permission 2 times, they need to split the 4 hours into 2 and then apply. Now, under this section, select the following options as per your requirements auto approval for top level managers. Once you enable this option, the application gets auto approved for employees who don't have any next level reviewers. Mandatory to include a reason while applying for permission this option makes it mandatory to include a reason for applying for permission. 
Mandatory to include a reason while rejecting permission This option makes it mandatory to include a reason while rejecting the permission. Here, select the reason type accordingly. Please note that when you select the manual option, the user can provide input, and the standard option is the predefined drop-down where the values are configured in the list of values. And then coming to date criteria, select these options as per your requirements. Click on save policy, and then on review, and submit to create permission workflow levels. Now you will see the summary of the policy. Go back to the main page, and click here to activate your policy. Please note that the employees can apply for permissions only on or after the policy's effective date. Permissions cannot be allowed before the activation date. Select the effective date, and click confirm. At last, to view the employees assigned to the permissions policy, navigate to the employee module, under the admin section, and click on the assignment page. On this page, select assignment type as permissions, and select policy as permission policy. The page will display the employees assigned to this policy. Please note that you can select unassigned to view the unassigned employees in the policy. Hope with this step-by-step -step explanation, you can find it easy to define your permissions policy. With that, we come to an end. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel to get updates about our upcoming videos.